Hello and welcome back, Halet Nation. We've got a good one for you today. I know you've been looking for it. We got it for you. The new floor plan, the 316 RLS Cougar here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Let's hop inside, take a look with our floor plan in a flash. It will look familiar, but not exactly identical to some things you've seen in the past. It is very much like if the old previous 315 RLS Cougar had a baby with the 330 RLS Montana High Country, also available here at Halet RV. And this does replace the 315 in the Cougar lineup. And what's amazing is they've given it, I feel, an enhanced better bathroom without any significant extension of the floor plan or any significant increase in weight. This is an awesome model. It carries with it a warranty that does include allowances for full-time RVing. Hot cold camp rated from zero all the way up to 110. Cougars actually tested their stuff further than most brands. And that new decor, getting rid of the carpet, they are, they got claws out at Cougar this year. And if you'd have told me last year, this is what Cougar's going to look like, I wouldn't have believed you. I would not have believed you. I didn't dislike how Cougar looked before. And I'd love your opinion. What do you folks think compared to the uh, previous generation of Cougar? Do you like the look here? Because uh, personally, it speaks to me in a very strong way. I know not everyone's going to love it, but hang tight. Let's see what other kind of cool features we might have here other than just the decor swap, like getting rid of the carpet in the slide. And are you noticing a distinct lack of something on that dining arrangement? No more like knee knockers. It is bolted to the wall and reinforced kind of like a Montana high country freestanding table. That is a very cool thing for somebody like me with long legs who's dealt with that. My knees are always banged up from running into stuff. Like I can't go to the Mexican restaurant without constantly cracking my knees on things. You know, airplanes, oh, that's that's... That's not fun. That's not fun for me at all. Now over here, you've got that big giant 4K ultra high def television straight across from the cinema seating. Big electric space heating fireplace down below giving us 5,120 BTUs of uh, extra heating. But if you want to have a little bit of a kind of conversation corner, that TV can pivot around. It doesn't have to face just the theater seat, although it does a very good job of that. And case in point, Here's what that's going to look like. Now, at the same time, we're also giving you a good look at the uh, trifold sleeper sofa on the back here. So it's a great couples camper, but you've got some good guest capacity as well. Now, this is very similar in class and category to a uh, 321 RSBS uh, Eagle here at Halet RV. But again, it has a little bit more of that Montana floor plan, but somehow it's still distinctly cougar and i don't know how better to describe it than that like i like the household and usb plugs on both sides of that sofa right there great for guests or if you just want to lounge on the sofa uh piddle around on your phone a little bit neat little place to do that that armrest in the middle pops open for some uh remote control storage by the way and our center cup holders here have uh 12 volt powered usb plugs as well so once again if you want to piddle fart around on your phone, you got a perfect little spot to do that. I don't know why I'm suddenly on the uh, kick of piddle farting. Um, I should probably let that one go. <laughs> uh, nice tall walk-in slides there. A full viewing window in the entry door. And just the little touches, the updates. I love that light fixture. I love those lights above this island here. Um, I, and they've changed up the shape of this island a little bit. It kind of looks like an oversized painter's palette now, but that little cutaway over there, we'll see those drawers in action in a minute. It is what allows you to get better access to the refrigerator when this slide out is closed. And if you hang with us before we step outside, we'll actually get that all cracked open and show you all of the uh, slide accessibility functions on this RV. But first, it's storage time, baby. So we begin with one of the original RV nerdisms, uh, number 37. We started off there and we've uh, stayed there ever since. The Pantry Tainment Center. Not to mention the fact that the almost like kind of a couple desk drawers. Like I could imagine almost using the entertainment center sort of like a little working desk space, but I can imagine weird things. Maybe that doesn't work for you. I like the struts on those overhead cabinet doors so you don't got to juggle them. And then as we come over here, once again, a little bit Montana inspired 
But Cougar Refined, I like what they did with the Symmetry Kitchen. Normally I call it a Montana Symmetry Kitchen, so I guess now I'm calling it a Keystone Symmetry Kitchen, where, you know, counter space on the left and right sides of the stovetop. Plus, you've got those pop up power towers, so you've got four household and USB plugs uh, uh, in total in that area. Now, everything under, down, and around that stove, that larger Furion 22 inch oven, by the way, uh, all of that. All that storage, uh, you know, big pots, pans, all that stuff. Now, over here, there's a couple different refrigerator options. This is the primary one that you find on most Cougars. It is a 13.5 cubic foot uh, two-way fridge, and it provides a very good balance of, uh, like, uh, for mobile-friendly lifestyles, off-grid uh, function, or if you're just going to be in a park, God forbid you, you lose power, it'll kick itself right over to gas mode from electric. Dedicated space for a wastebasket down there under the coffee bar, which is also solid surfaced. And you can see that great pantry space going on over here as we come out to the little above the coffee bar nook. And up top in the kitchen area, we do have a uh, max air venting kind of fan thing. I don't know why I said thing. I think it's late. I don't know if you're noticing. I don't have the shades drawn. It's way after hours, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I got hit with a bunch of RVs very late today, and I hope you appreciate the dedication. Burning the midnight oil. Now, uh, what we haven't seen, though, is the island. Let's get in there. And this island is awesome, man. I mean, the the way that they've, they've given it an asymmetry, it's not just everything right down the middle now. The sink's not buried dead in the middle like it used to be. And that gives us the ability to include that extra drawer space over there. Speaking of the sink, we've got a uh, stainless sink with uh, split covers, one of them being like a dish drying rack. And then down below here, you've already seen that we have wastebasket space, but I mean, you've got just a wide open area here. You can do just about anything and everything you wanted with. But like, You've seen this living room before, right? Probably, if you've been shopping around for a while. It's not the living room on this one that's... It's a great living room. It's this bathroom. This bathroom is something special. Uh, mark my words, a year from now, you're going to watch almost every major fifth wheel producer copy what they are doing in this Cougar. Once again, Cougar sets the tone. Cougar has been the trendsetter of this class for so, so long, and they just don't show any signs of stopping with their creativity. And I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they pulled to give us this bigger, better bathroom. But again, the RV is not significantly larger versus what its predecessor, the 315 RLS, is. This is awesome. I guarantee you're going to see manufacturer reps from other companies calling dealerships like Halet RV going, Hey, man, how, I mean, what are they? what's the secret behind this? What's the trick? There's no trick. It's just really ingenious design but like getting a double sink the double lavatory in this class in set like that that is awesome now sometimes uh people ask you know why are the sinks on the side like that the faucets and that's because if this if the faucets were in the back they'd have to make this countertop extra deep so that's a very space effective way of doing this right here but notice down below here man some great storage going on it is capable of accepting like almost a, a mine and yours kind of wastebasket situation, which is very handy actually in bathrooms. Uh, the, the dual drawers in the middle, once again, I get a drawer, you get a drawer. And the way that they just put this big, big mirror on the wall right here, as opposed to like medicine cabinets with mirrors in your face, it opens this room up something fierce. Plus, we've got great kind of like linen space over here as well. I mean, every little nook and cranny of this camper they utilized very, very nicely. Now, over here, we've got the just nice, easy, kind of easy step-in, walk-in shower with that corner seating area right there. And kind of like, uh, I mean, first of all, let's take a look at this. Here is the headroom in that shower. I'm about 6'3", standing in there. I've got absolutely no headroom issues in here whatsoever. But if I back up just a little bit... Take a look at this. Look at the legroom in this model. I extended my legs tiptoe far as I could. I could not come up to this doorway here, which, by the way, does have a sliding uh, privacy door. Now you see this extra little handle right here. Let me, oops, sorry, I kind of came at this from a funky angle. Take a look at this. There's still more storage going on in this bathroom. It just never quits because it might be too legit. <laughs> 
And again, I haven't exactly figured out what kind of magic they pulled off because one of my first thoughts is, okay, I got a nice living room. I got a great bathroom. You had to steal from somewhere. You had to steal from the bedroom, right? Am I stuck with a queen bed? No. What you just saw right there was the optional 70 by 80 king bed. You still have that full front closet. Like if you notice over there, there's like almost like a side stand built into the closet with household and USB plugs. So if you got to set something in there, like set your CPAP on that and just run the mask over to your face, there's, you know, they, they didn't lose anything. They didn't sacrifice anything. And here's another nice thing Cougars didn't used to have years ago. Full storage below an easy lift bed. When we first became a Cougar dealer, I actually accidentally ripped the bed platform apart, trying to lift it up to get to the storage. I didn't realize they didn't have it down there. Well, Cougar agreed. That was dumb. They took care of it. Over here, obviously great dresser space, but that is a combo washer dryer prepped closet right there as well. Now she's all set to put a TV up there on that wall across from the bed. Normally I'd say check out the view you get from this window, but you know, it's officially now the middle of the night and I'm still going. But folks, I, again, I hope you appreciate that. We are doing everything we can to always get you all of the information, all of the footage, all of the updates we possibly can as quickly as we can all of the time. And sometimes that means I sacrifice some time home for my family. And if, you know, you respect that, then definitely give our team here the opportunity or just leave me a little comment. Just, hey, thanks, Josh. I'd, I don't know. I'm not looking for the glory, but I'd appreciate it. That light switch on the wall, by the way, this RV has in command, but you don't have to use the digital touch panel. You still have a switch for the bedroom, a switch for the uh, living room. Makes sense. Or you can turn them all on. Plus, household and USB outlets over there on that side of the bed, which is something I don't know if I've ever remembered to show you on a Cougar before. So this might be an RV nerd first over here. Now look here with the slide close reveals that even with the king bed upgrade, you can still fully open and close the bedroom door. Now the king bed, uh, it does kiss that door, but it'll squish out of the way. And I mean, I'm going way out of my way to point that out. I hope you folks, uh, you know, appreciate that kind of like massive transparency here. And <laughs> I love this bathroom. They did such a good job of really capturing the spirit, the, the main points of the 330 rl high country in this one but you know saving some weight saving some cost and really just not to mention just a different look sometimes you know they're they're both great rvs we carry them both here at halid rv but they both do different things very well and something keystone is just tremendous for is making sure you can get to the refrigerator with the slide closed well done keystone thank you now, as we step outside here, I want to start right by the door. I know some folks uh, aren't always super fans of these stable steps. I want to show you something that might help a couple people out. Cougar uses a removable set of stable steps. You see those light colored little pins right there? You can pull those out. You could physically remove the steps. You could, uh, like if you're parked too close to a camper next to you, uh, if you can't fold the steps all the way down because they take up too much size and space, you could uh, set them down on the ground, then hook them back up and get in and out of your RV. Very handy at like storage facilities. Not every stable step can do that. Now, of course, most of the time, this is how you're going to use them, and Cougar has also made that easier than it used to be with the help of these uh, Moride Step Above systems. No more do you have those uh, lock pins that you used to have to put in place. You push that little tab to retract the leg, and then when you reach your destination, that is all it takes. And since the legs can operate independently, it doesn't matter if you're on uneven ground. You can always make sure you got a secure connection with the ground. They have also recently expanded the size of the top plank to give you... It can kind of act like a seat, but it's also nice just to have more to put your feet on when you're walking in and out, you know? The anti-slam entry door over here, you can see it touched the door jam, but it didn't, you know, bang against anything. And once again, just windows galore. And that is a six and a half foot tall entry door. That is something uh, Cougar's Big Brother Montana likes to talk about quite a bit uh, because it's a residential height door and you're getting the same thing here on a Cougar. Um, there's a ton of similarities between a full Cougar fifth wheel like this and a Montana high country. They're definitely cut from the same cloth. They each have some distinctively different DNA. And if you would like some assistance boiling down the difference between the two, let us know here at Halid RV. Feel free to ask me some questions in the comment section. I'll do my best to assist you. Now, 
since this thing has a bigger bathroom, it has among, if not the largest pass-through belly compartment, I think of any Cougar. This is an atypical Cougar setup, and what it results in there is, I think, something pretty special. Now, down inside there, that black box you saw, if you're not familiar, that's the brains for the in-command system. And as we back up, you can see you've got dual power awnings right here. Um, the uh, fact, too, that because the uh, upper deck is extended, they were able to give it a little bit longer front awning, but you see I still maintain that full big window in the bedroom. I like what they are doing here. And I mean, how good does this look? How good does this look? That's a real question. Leave me a comment. Let me know how good does this look. On a scale, <laughs> on a scale from one to wow. Man, I love what Cougar's doing over here. Uh, up front, You've got uh, their uh, Road Armor pin box system. This goes hand in hand with their suspension to give you a nice smooth ride heading down the road. And something I've failed to do quite often, but somebody requested it is, hey Josh, can I see inside the front compartment of one of these Cougars? You bet you a viewer whose name I forgot, we'll do that right now. So what they do, they put the spare tire up here along with the battery. Mostly because they have to try to find a place they can put the spare tire and this is like an easy standardized location for them to do it. It also keeps it out of the weather. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be exposed to rain, wind, snow, sunshine, whatever. The last thing you want, God forbid you have a, a flat tire, do you really want to have to worry about your spare tire being dry rotted? Well, you're not going to have to worry about that here. Make sure though, you are checking the air on that. That's kind of one of those pro tips from uh, your Uncle Josh the RV Nerd. Check even the spare tire PSI before you leave. Now my shadow, like, let me get out of here. Peter Pan shadow over here blocking everything. Uh, this is our battery box. Now one interesting thing they do here is they include a couple terminals up top there where you can easily reach them. Now for somebody like me who's constantly juggling battery boxes, that thing's a godsend. For someone like you, God forbid you do need to hook a battery up to it to get some power real quick. It makes it simple, quicker, and easier. We have ourselves a uh, electric automatic leveling system standard on one of these. It's just one less thing that you're going to have to worry about. And as we get over here, I want to talk about the hot cold camping on this thing. I mentioned it briefly earlier. Uh, a couple years ago, Cougar did some serious, serious work and enhanced their hot cold camping package. They are, again, uh, tested and proven from 0 to 110 degrees. They may actually be capable of more. That's all they've tested. Now in here you can see the enclosed, privatized, heated, protected docking center. Key TV means no more signal antenna booster button nonsense. Simple side solar prep plug and you'll see roof solar um, on the roof. <laughs> and that guy right there, it says external shower, but there's no hose. Well, right over here, we got ourselves a hidden little kind of toolbox thing and that's where that hose ships from the factory. It is a simple, smart, cool thing. Our auto leveling controls are easy to get to and they're on the driver's side of the RV where it makes a heck of a lot more sense. And again, these are roof solar ready and that is where you'll find the uh, prep for the controller there. Now, more than that, Cougars are not just roof solar ready uh, and side solar ready, they are also inverter prepped. It's called the Cougar OTG package. So if you're down with OTG, yeah, you know me, you're gonna like what you see from a Cougar RV. <laughs> I couldn't have done that if I tried, it just happened to work out. I'm not usually that good with my rhythm and flow. Underbelly here, enclosed, forced air heated, radiant barrier, 12 volt tank heaters. Again, hot, cold, camp tested and proven. And if you're looking over there, you might be able to see the blue thing that hooks the tires together. That's the road armor suspension system, taking a lot of that herky jerkiness out of your travel and experience. By the way, can somebody help? So how smart am I? Well, uh, when I needed to change my battery just now, I pulled the new battery out, didn't put it in the camera, put it straight into my pocket, and then went back to work and wondered why my camera died, which is why we're talking right now. <laughs> back to the action. Okay, uh, <laughs> where was I? I'm all thrown off now. Let's start down here. Uh, under the rear area here, Cougar and Montana both are very, very good about this. I think it shows a lot of attention to detail for their owners, is including you a place to keep your sewer hose. You know, that way you don't have to have it near your camp stuff. Now, all the lights on this are LED. 
but the taillights have an exceptionally bright reverse element to them. So if you shift in reverse, you can see what you're doing. Uh, Cougar has also adopted, uh, Montana's done this quite a bit too, a uh, two inch, not just accessory receiver hitch like they've done in the past. They have officially upgraded this to a 3,000 pound towing hitch with safety chain hooks and a four way wiring harness. Uh, basically just like the Eagles that we have uh, here at Halet RV. And if that's the thing, Keystone, Jayco, folks, they are up in each other's business on a regular uh, uh, you know, case. They're like, hey, anything you can do, I can do better. And they're always one up in one another. And I get to see it happen in real time because we carry both of them here at Halet RV and they're both so good. Like Cougar and Eagle, they're like 96% the same. So it really boils down to you get to be hyper particular about the RV you want to take home. Like like all the windows on this, I love all the windows on this thing and those awnings. Cool thing you can do here, control them with your in command. So if you want to really just eat up all the patio picnic space over here, you can have dual awning action, outside speakers going on, playing your crunchy freedom rock, brother. Or whatever, I don't know, whatever music you listen to. You want to listen to dubstep when you're camping? Listen to dubstep. I don't care. It's your life. Live it. couple quick roof features for you like the roof mount solar prep right here and Cougar does have a factory solar package. Give us a call we can get you some more info on that or leave me a comment I'll do my best to fill you in. We also have the WineGuard Air 360 roof antenna system and if you want to not only is this omnidirectional meaning you don't have to crank it up or down or turn it but uh, it is uh, compatible with the WineGuard Connect, I think it's called. Uh, somebody help me out. I never remember if it's WineGuard Connect or Gateway, or is it the LCI Gateway? Which one? I don't remember that, but this is the WineGuard system, sorry. That uh, if you want to upgrade to like a signal access uh, router, repeater thing, this can be Wi-Fi enabled. That's, that's all I should have said. All this stupid blathering I've done, I could have just said, hey look, it can be Wi-Fi enabled. I'm an idiot and our roof attic vents, allowing that hot air trapped between the interior ceiling panel and the exterior roof decking a chance to breathe out. And this makes this, not to mention all the radiant barrier and insulation work they're doing on a Cougar. Cougar is probably pound for pound one of the best hot climate campers I think I've seen out there in a long time. For the budget, I don't know if anyone's beating them in that regard. Where's the off button? Crap! So leave us some comments, let us know what you liked. Let us know what you dislike. Let us know what you'd like to see differently. Or if I've missed something, if you have a question, if I said something weird because I sometimes do that, let me know. Leave us some remarks here and we'll do our best to fill you in. And short of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can always keep on top of the new models like this one that are coming in. Remember, we also have like how-tos, maintenance routines, suggestion videos, all sorts of things to help people out, whether you're a new first-time buyer or an experienced RVer. We are more than just RV tours at Halet RV. So, Give us a call. Remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else. We'd love the chance to work with you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.